Okay, so we're going to have a look at some recipe questions and just a couple of different questions that you can have with these sorts of recipes. Now, there's only a couple. This is going to be quite a short video, so I've got a couple of different questions to show you, a couple for you to have a go at, and then one little question to finish on. So it shouldn't take too long, this one. Um, so grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, make some notes, and we're going to have a look at this recipes question. So it says, here's a list of ingredients to make peach dessert for six people. Ned is going to make peach dessert for 15 people. Work out how much of each ingredient he needs. Now, obviously, what's important here is the fact that we're just looking at the proportion between them so this is for six people and this is for 15 people now if you have a calculator what we could just do is just divide the recipe by six get a recipe for one person and then just times it by 15 so it's quite nice and easy if you have a calculator there's not really much explanation behind that but if you don't you're gonna to have to figure out another way of getting there because your chances are you're not gonna to want to divide all of those by six and then times them all by 15 without a calculator okay and there is an easier way so what we're gonna have a look at doing is just taking this recipe here and we're just gonna make it for less people so so what I mean by that is we'll have a look. Okay, well, what about three people? Because it's quite easy just to halve these numbers. So if I wanted to make it for three people, we'd just halve them all. So that wouldn't be 150 grams of jelly. It'd be 75 grams. It wouldn't be 10 sponge fingers. It would be five. We would have half the amount of custard there, so 250 milliliters. And then we'd also have 100 grams of peaches rather than 200. Now, before I go any further and think about dividing this down again, I'm just going to have a think about if there's a way of getting three people to turn into 15, and there is, okay? I can times them by five. Okay, actually, so I can get straight to 15 at this point, because I can just take this recipe for three people, and I can just times it by five, there we go. Or I could get the recipe for six people, and I could add that together twice to get to 12 people, and then add the extra three on as well. So I think it's probably just a bit easier to times these by five, maybe. Uh, you might disagree, though. You might just think it's a bit easier just to take the recipe here, double it, and then add on the three. Completely up to you, but the important thing is we have to get to 15. So 75 times five, is, well 75 times 4 is 300 plus an extra 75 is 375 grams, there we go, so that's the jelly. For the sponge fingers, 5 times 5, that's easy enough, that's 25, okay, oh, we've got 250 milliliters there, times that by 5 is 1250 milliliters, and then for the last one, 100 grams of peaches times 5 is 500 grams, there we are, and that there is our final answer for all the ingredients that we're going to need for 15 people. There we are, and that's our final answer. Okay, so when you've got a question like this, obviously you just want to break it down and then just keep checking. Can you get that to 15 yet? Yeah, obviously six. There is a way of getting there. You can times it by 2.5, but that's not very nice, times it then by 2.5, particularly if we're thinking about a non-calculator approach here. Obviously, as I said, if you did have a calculator, look, you just divide them all by six to get a recipe for one, and then times them by whatever number you need, which in this case is 15. So there we go. That's how you approach one of these types of questions. Let's have a look at a slightly different one. Okay, so this question says, here is the list of ingredients to make 30 biscuits. And there we go, we've got our 30 biscuit recipe over there. It says, Lucas has the following ingredients. We've got 900 grams of butter, and then some of these other ingredients as well. It says, what's the greatest number of biscuits Lucas can make? And you must show your work in. Now, a question like this, basically one of these ingredients on the left here is gonna limit us. And what I mean by that is we might have enough butter to make 100 biscuits, okay? We might have enough sugar to make 100 biscuits, but if we only have enough chocolate chips to make, I don't know, the, the 30 biscuits that are there, then we're only gonna be and make 30. Now this of course we make some of them without the chocolate chips but that's not what the question's asking. It wants us to be able to make this full recipe and we want to know how many of them we can actually go about making. So if we just go about seeing which one of these is going to limit us okay and we'll just have a look just in basic numbers and we are going to use a calculator for this um, and having a look at you know which one of these ingredients is going to stop us from making a certain amount. So for the 900 grams of butter well we need 225 grams so if I divide that by the 225 there we go, 900 divided by 225 is four. Okay, so arguably, maybe we could do this bit without a calculator. We've got 1,000 grams of caster sugar. We're gonna divide that by the 110 grams in the recipe over there. Again, I'm just picking these numbers out from over here, so we're on the 110 grams of sugar at the moment. So 1,000 divided by 110 is, and let's have a look, 9.09. There we are, 9.09. Okay, and there is some recurrings above those as well. But ultimately, look, we're not gonna be able to make nine lots because we're already limited by the butter there that's only gonna allow us to make four. On to the next one, we've got 275 grams of plain flour per 30 biscuits. So we've got 1,000 grams of flour, so we'll divide that by 275. So 1,000 divided by 275. Let's have a look what that comes out as 3.63. There we go, 3.63, and again, that's recurring there. So again, we're limited again now by the flour. And our last one, let's have a look. We've got 75 grams of chocolate chips. 
So let's divide that by 75 there. So 225 divided by 75 is three. There we go. So three is our limiting number. Look, it's our lowest. We can only make three lots of the recipe using the chocolate chips. Okay, so we're gonna have some butter, sugar, and flour left over. So it says, what the great, what's the greatest number you can make? Well, we can make three lots of the recipe. Do not forget, obviously, this is, an, this is a recipe for 30 biscuits, and we can make three lots of that. So three lots of the 30 biscuits equals 90. And just say how many biscuits? So we could always just say 90 biscuits, there we go. There we are. And that's how we go about answering one of those, okay? You just want to find out what's that limiting number. And obviously we found it in this one. It was the chocolate chips, okay? So obviously make that nice and clear when you're working out. And then obviously just refer back to the actual recipe itself. So this was for 30 and we were able to make 90 therefore in total. Just as a little side note though, obviously it could have said, let's imagine just for example, that when we did do the division, if this number came out as 2.5, okay, or something like that, two and a half, and that was our smallest one, that would mean that, and this is where it does get a little bit nastier sometimes, that if I had 30 biscuits, look, I could make two and a half lots of that. So 2.5, I would have 30 biscuits, 30 biscuits, and I'd have half of that, I could have 15, and look, in total, that would add up to 60, 75, there we are. So there is a case sometimes where you might have half of the recipe, or a quarter of the recipe, or something like that, like we had previously when we were looking at using half of the recipe as well. So just look out for that, because it can occur. Obviously, in this question, it was quite nice, it came out as a whole number, but just so you know, if it did come out as something like 2.5 or something else like that you could have an extra half of the recipe as well okay so we are trying to make the greatest number we can doesn't mean we can't have half of that recipe or a quarter of the recipe or something like that but there we go that's how to answer one of these questions and now here are a couple for you to have a go at okay so here's two questions so pause the video there have a go and we'll go over the answer in a sec Okay, so this first one then. So here's a recipe for 12 cheese scones and it says Jason's gonna make 30 of them. So obviously we can't get 12 to 30 nice and easily, but we can actually go about halving this recipe and we can get a recipe for six. So let's make a recipe for six, look. So to get six, we're gonna halve them all. So that'd be 120 grams of flour. And that would be 30 grams of butter. It'd be 15 grams of cheese. And for the milk, it would be 75 milliliters, okay? So to get to 30 now, we can do that because that is currently at six. So we just need to times them all by five. As six times five is gonna get us to 30. So that is gonna get us, and let's have a look. I'm just gonna put times five next to all of these. And we'll write the answers down the bottom here. So for the flour, five, times 120 is 600. Let's have a look, so six, we're gonna write this, there we go, we'll write it down here. So we've got 600 grams of the flour. There we go, for the butter, 30 times five is 150, so it's 150 grams of butter. What else have we got? 15 times five is 75, and that is grams again, 75 grams of cheese. And the last one there, we've got 75 times five, and I did that on the last one actually, I think, did I do that? Yeah, 375 milliliters of milk. Right, so there we go, so that's our final answer for that one, okay? Uh, on to the next one, it says we are, we've got a recipe for 16 chocolate biscuits, and then we've got Sabrina has these uh, amounts of each ingredient, work out the greatest number of chocolate biscuits Sabrina can make, and you must show you working. Right, okay, so let's have a look then. Now, if we have a look at the butter to start with, so if we divide that by the 100 grams of butter that we need over there, that comes out as 2.5, okay? So 100, divided by 100 is 2.5. The next one, we've got 300 grams, Okay, divide that by the 50 grams of uh, sugar that we're gonna need in total, that is six. The 600 grams of flour, we're gonna divide that by the 120 that we need, and that is five. And then the 60 grams, we're gonna divide that by the 15 grams there in the recipe, and that is four. There we go. Right, there we go. So funnily enough, that 2.5 came up that I mentioned in the last one. Didn't actually know that that was gonna be 2.5 there, so there we go. Stroke a look that I mentioned it, but we've got 16 chocolate biscuits in the recipe and we can make two and a half lots of that recipe. So one lot of the recipe would be 16 biscuits plus the second lot of the recipe, so that'd be another 16. And then we wanna make half of that. So dividing that by two gives us eight biscuits in half the recipe, so plus another eight there. And if we add those all together, we've got 16 add 16 is 32, plus the eight is 40. So we've got 40 biscuits that we can make in total. There we go, 
And there is our final answer for that question. Right, so that's how we approach these recipe questions. I've got one uh, sort of question that's ever so slightly different just for you to have a look at before we finish. Uh, and here it is. Okay, so this question here, some slightly different words. There's no recipe there. Uh, there's just a few more little words to actually read through in terms of these ingredients. So pause the video there, have a go at this question, see what you get, and we'll talk about how we go about answering this one. Okay, so it says Kate needs 50 grams of sugar to make 15 biscuits. She also needs three times as much flour as sugar and two times as much butter as sugar. Kate is going to make 60 biscuits. She buys the butter in 250 gram packs and the flour in 500 gram packs. How many packs of butter and how many packs of flour does Kate need to buy? So to start with, we're going to make 60 biscuits. Now it says up here she needs 50 grams of sugar to make 15 biscuits. Okay, but we obviously want to make 60. So to get from 15 to 60, we times that by four, okay? So that's how we get from 15 to 60. So we're not gonna need 50 grams of sugar, but we're gonna need 200 grams of sugar because we need to times that by four to get our 60. So 200 grams of sugar is what we're gonna need there. It then says she also needs three times as much flour as sugar, okay? So that obviously times in that 200 grams by three, that would give us 600 grams of flour. There we go. Then it says we need two times as much butter as sugar. So we're going to times that sugar by two. So the sugar was 200 grams, so that's going to be 400 grams in total. There we go. So we've got 400 grams of butter, and that's how much we're going to need. Now it says down here she buys the butter in 250 gram packs, and the flour, let's just highlight that off, butter's in 250 gram packs, and flour's in 500 gram packs. How many packs of each do we need to buy? Well, let's have a look. So for the, and let's start with the butter. It says for the butter, look, we need 400 grams of butter. So if we buy a 250 gram pack, that's not gonna be enough. We're not gonna have enough there. So we're gonna have to buy at least two of those. So two of those is gonna equal 500 grams. Let's have a look. So yes, that's gone over the 400 grams there, but that means that we're actually gonna have enough there. So we're gonna need two packs of butter. There we go. As she buys them in the 250 gram packs, we're not going to get uh, exactly 400 grams, but as long as we've got enough, that's going to be absolutely fine. And for the next one, look, we've got flour sold in 500 gram packs, and we need 600 grams of flour. So again, 500 grams isn't going to be enough. We're going to need to buy two of those. Two of them is going to equal 1,000 grams. There we go. So it's going to be well over the amount that we need. Uh, but there we go. We're going to need two packs of flour. All right, there we go. So there's our final answer, two packs of butter and two packs of flour, and that's gonna be enough ingredients there to make sure that she can make this recipe. But there we go, that is the end of recipes. Hopefully you found that useful and helpful. If you did, please like, please comment, please subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.